The question number 31 is a 43 meter long rope of mass 5 kg joins two rock climbers. One climber strikes the rope and the second feels the pulse after 1.4 second later the tension in the rope. Now it's given that this is a rope and this the length of the rope is 43 meter and the mass of the rope is given 5 kilogram. And one pulse is created from here and this pulse reaches the other in a time of 1.4 second. And what is the formula for V in transfer wave? V is equal to T by nu where nu is equal to mass divided by length. The mass is given 5 and the length is 43 meter. So V is equal to T divided by 5 into 43 whole root the one equation. Now, what is the formula for time? Time is equal to the distance travel divided by speed. The distance travel is 43 meter and V is this one you know and T is already given to you. What is T given to you? 1.4. So, 1.4 is equal to 43 divided by V. So, we will fill up the formula that 1.4 into V that means T into 43 divided by 5 whole root is equal to 43 and solve for here and t comes to be almost 110 newton so the correct option is the first one question number 32 a car is fitted with a device which produces a sound of frequency 60 hertz there is no wind and the speed of the sound in stray is 345 meter per second an observer moving towards the car with the speed of 12 meter per second hear the sound of frequency 68 hertz, the speed of the car. Now this is some the car and uh, this is fitted with the, the siren which is of frequency 60 hertz. An observer moving towards the car, uh, this is some observer uh, which is moving toward the car. And velocity of the observer is given to you 12 meter per second. Now, the hard frequency is given 68 hertz. Now, what will happen? The sound will travel from here and will cross the observer. And by Doppler effect, the apparent frequency is equal to real frequency. The velocity of sound are relative to observer. In the opposite direction, it's added up. And let's say in the same direction, so velocity of the sound relative to the source. This source is a car. Now, fill up the values. 68 is given equal to 60. And V is given to you 345. And velocity of the observer is 12 divided by 345 minus the velocity of the source, which is car. So, 68 by this, so 68 divided by 60 is equal to 357 divided by 345 minus this. So, this will cancel it further. That is 17 by, and now cross multiply and solve, you find that the velocity of this car is equal to 30 meter per second and that too towards the observer. So, answer is 3 to this question. The question 33 is, two siren produce sound of intensity 5 into 10 is power minus 9 watt per meter square and 9 into 10 is power minus 6 watt per meter square respectively. By how many decibel is one sound louder over the other? Now, dear student, you know that the loudness difference is equal to 10, the log of one intensity to the second intensity. Now this is louder than this. So delta L that is equal to 10 and log of the value is given 9 into 10 is power minus 6 divided by 5 into 10 is power minus 9. So this is equal to 10 log of and this 1.8 into 1000. So that is 1800. Now you have to solve this one. So delta L now comes mathematics so log so 1800 you can split like 2 9 and 100 so you can write 10 log of 
2 and 3 square into 100 and we use the definition of log so 10 this become log of 2 and product changes to sum 2 log of 3 plus log of 100 100 means 10 squared now you know this values this is 10 and log 2.3010 plus 2 into 0 0.4771 plus 2 and when you solve add this one you get 3.25 and the total value become 32.5 and the answer is in decimal and the correct option is the 4. The question number 34 is a steel wire whose length is 130 centimeter and whose cross section area is 9.5 tennis per minus 7 meter square is heated to an average temperature of 830 degree centigrade and stretched out between two rigid supports. What tension is developed in the wire when it is cooled to 20 degree centigrade? Young's modulus is given and the coefficient of linear expansion is given. Now, dear student, what is the diagram? This was the wire whose length is given to you 1.3 meter and it's held tight just the normal length and the temperature was 830 degree celsius when temperature was reduced to 20 degree centigrade it will shrink we, we are not allowing it to shrink no doubt there will be the tension developed the wire is trying to pull it back and what is the temperature change the temperature change is 810 degree celsius you know the formula what is the tension developed y crux section area a alpha delta t this is the tension developed in the material and delta t is here the temperature change and this is the tension developed in the wire so y is given to you 2 into 10 is power 11 the cross section area is already given to you 9.5 10 is power minus 7 and alpha is given 11 into 10 is power minus 6 and delta t is 810 you have to make the calculations and if this values come to be 1700 newton therefore the correct option is the second one let's move to the next problem the question number 35 is a bubble of 5 mole of helium is submerged at certain depth in water when water undergoes a temperature rise of 20 degrees centigrade at constant pressure the bubble expands how much heat is added to the helium gas during the expansion and the temperature rise now dear student this is a constant pressure process and in constant pressure a delta q is equal to n number of moles the cp molar specific heat at constant pressure into the temperature change now this is monatomic gas and for that cp is equal to 5 by 2 into r so therefore the heat added is equal to n which is 5 and cp is 5 by 2 into r and what is the temperature rise which is given 20 so 25 by 2 into 8.314 into 20 will be with the heat which is equal to 2077.5 joule is the answer so the correct option is the option number two to this one